Hello, John Marshall, the Drill Master. Wanted to go over a couple of things about flags, uh, about outside flags. So here we have an outside flag. The white band is called the header, and these metal rings are called grommets. The grommets fit into the clips that are on a flagpole. I call this the outside flag as opposed to the inside flag and really it's actually called an indoor outdoor flag so the indoor outdoor flag sometimes has fringe sometimes it doesn't depending on your service uh, the Marine Corps Navy and Coast Guard will not march uh, a, uh, a color guard flag the the national ensign with with fringe it's, it cannot have fringe so uh, but but the departmental must have fringe whereas the Army and the Air Force all of the flags for a color guard have fringe well, these flags don't get fringe. Now, I'm speaking strictly military here. We don't, we, the, the military does not put fringe on outside, what I call outside flags, as opposed to indoor flags, or I'm sorry, in, indoor outdoor flags, indoor slash outdoor. And they're indoor outdoor, meaning that they can be posted indoors or they can be carried outdoors by a color guard. And uh, those flags have a pole hem where the, the the staff actually slides in and there's an attachment at, at both ends of the pole hem whether it's a leather tab or whether it's the uh, the newer velcro uh, the hook and pile fastener which is actually quite handy all right so here we have my home flagpole and we have a flag here so this is going to be it's brand new uh, we haven't flown it yet, uh, but we mean to. Now, what I want to show you, though, is that uh, I'll bring the uh, I'll bring the top clasp down a little bit farther. There. So let's say that I uh, that I hook this up. And now, what I'm going to do is just break this over my my arm here so it doesn't touch the ground. Now I'm going to pull this up a little bit more. Now what you can see here is that this flag, we usually fly an American flag. This flag actually happens to be the same uh, the same uh, height or hoist, sorry, uh, the hoist of, the, of our American flag because the grommets are the same distance apart. Now, if if this were, let me get some uh, some halyard in here. If this, if it was stretched a little bit like this, or if it was, <laughs> or if it was the opposite here, if it was uh, there. Let's do this uh, a little more extreme there. If I had it like this to where there was where the flag had a, a buckle in it here, it wasn't straight, then I'd want to fix that and you can do that easily by adjusting the halyard. And I'll just adjust it to where it used to be. There we go. Oh, a little bit a little bit more. Bring that up. issue with this flag is that we don't fly them at this at uh, at the same time this flag would go directly underneath the American flag uh, because this flag uh, this flag is longer than the American flag so it's larger than our American flag and we're not going to fly a larger uh, non-national flag with the American flag. It, it, that just wouldn't be appropriate. We're also not going to fly two national flags uh, together on the same pole because one would have to be below the other unless it is double rigged with a, uh, with a halyard. This, the rope is called a halyard. With a halyard rigging on one side and a halyard rigging on the other, then you could do that. That would be no problem. So um, I also wanted to show you a technique. And this is, this is mainly for my Pathfinder friends. So we usually have uh, 
one individual who's raising the flag, one who's holding the flag. So it's attached by the two of them onto the, uh, onto the halyard, and then it's raised up by one of them. So you're going to make sure that you're going to make sure that the wind is playing properly. But you're going to make sure that you're raising the uh, you're you're raising on the outside halyard. Now the pulley can be perpendicular to the staff so that it looks like this. If if I was the staff, it would look like this. Sometimes it's like this, not very often, but most of the time it's like this. So you want to raise it to the outside pulley or, or outside of the pulley, if, if I'm making uh, any sense here. All right, so I'll start to raise. Now, if it's just one person, what you don't want to do is let that go and raise, because it, especially if there's a strong wind, then it'll it'll pull the that halyard out, and you'll have a, a heck of a time trying to uh, to get it. So what you can do, and I'll uh, I'll just I'll do this slowly. I pull. See how I let the the, the halyard slide through my left hand, and now I'm going to grasp with my index and thumb and let it slide again and I reach up and I pull and my left comes up and I pull again all right and then it's the same thing for lowering but I just switch my hands and I'll do that here for lowering I'm switching you see how I just let it slide through my hands or slide through my hand just like that so when I raise the flag, then I want a nice, smooth motion. I don't want pull, 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 with that pause in there. Same thing, I don't want lower, 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 lower. That looks really bad. You want a, say, smooth motion the entire time that you're either raising or lowering. So I'm going to fly this today. Make sure that it goes all the way up and it's on the outside. Good. Now I'm finished. I'll attach my halyard. And I will tell you, God bless America. <laughs>